Hey, Tammy here. I am back to show you how to do a tea towel. All those vinyls that I cut out, I've got them all cleaned up and ready to go now. And I'm just going to iron it on. I don't have any real specific way of how I put it on. I just try to center it and I do it by eye. I'm going to try to tone my video down a little bit. Seems like I've had it on uh, going 20 minutes and it's an awful lot of time. We're getting a lot of snow here today. It's supposed to turn off to rain. I love these tea towels. You can do so much with them. You can get quite creative. I'll show you a couple of the others once I get this one all done. You can get a press that um, you use to press these with. But until I find out whether or not these are actually going to sell, if they're going to be profitable for me to do, I'm not going to invest any more money. I just keep going back and forth. Some people say hold it steady for 30 to 60 seconds. I just continually iron and then I'll test it and see if it's ready. And we'll take a peek. I'm going to do it while it's still warm. And it looks like this is doing well. Oops, my P is not quite down on this end, but I can iron that down. Looks like it cooled down too much, so I'm going to go over it again. Take it down as far as I can. Oh, it looks like I might be able to take the whole thing. It all depends on how you peel it. Awesome. Isn't that cute? Oops. My piece of felt in there. There. I worked pretty hard at putting these sayings together. I've seen a few of them on uh, Pinterest and I had to learn how to manipulate and get my fonts to do to go the way that I wanted them to. Isn't that cute? And in Maine, we have this favorite little saying, wicked pisser. So, figured I'd put one on a towel. <laughs> Easy peasy. I love, love, love this machine. It's, it's definitely giving me uh, another whole direction to be able to take my crafts and to be able to do a little marketing. Alright, if you like this video, thumbs up please. Uh, if you're a subscriber, thank you. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click on that button and make sure that you click that little bell. When you hit that little bell, it'll notify you when I have another video come out. 
and I have a goal for myself um, this month I'm trying to put a video out every day I have no idea what they're going to be I can tell you I got seed catalogs in so I'm ready to start picking through them I might uh, pull them out and do a video on picking and choosing seeds and why and why I grow what I grow all right thank you see you tomorrow